Throughout history, there have been people who have committed some of the most heinous crimes fathomable. For those crimes, they have been convicted and sentenced to death. Welcome to Death Row Executions, where we take a look into the lives of society's worst offenders. And now, your host, Air. Hello everyone, today's story is on Floyd Loveless, the youngest person in Nevada to be executed. Floyd was born on November 2nd, 1926. He had a rough childhood growing up and did not have the best role models in life. His mother Hazel passed away when Floyd was just three years old after she made the decision to walk in front of a train. His father Curtis was in the army, but he had been dishonorably discharged for getting into a fight that had killed a man. When he came back home to take care of Floyd, many in the community said that he was feared by all of the residents of Stockwell, Indiana. Floyd had a brother named Ray, but the two weren't close. By the time Floyd entered his early teen years, he was 5 feet 7 inches and 148 pounds. Although he loved baseball and attended school, with no one to guide and support him, he turned to a life of crime. At the age of 12, who knows if it was his first time stealing, but it was his first time getting caught, and he was caught for stealing pennies from a farmhouse. He also stole a watch from a small store, but by age 15, he upped his level of crime. He was now breaking into homes. One time he broke into a home, but this time it wasn't an empty house. There was a woman inside, but he was able to get away by hitting her over the head with a milk bottle. Floyd had gone on a crime spree and committed over 20 crimes. He finally got caught after he got hold of a gun he found after breaking into a home. He used this gun to hold the homeowner, Miss Noth, at gunpoint. While holding the gun in his left hand, he was able to sexually assault her. For this crime, Floyd was sent to the Indiana Boys Home in Plainville, Indiana in 1942, and he was supposed to carry out his sentence until he turned 21. Being in a boys' home wasn't for him, though. He buddied up with another inmate at the boys' home, Dale Klein. Floyd and Dale escaped the boys' home on August 15, 1942. Floyd was still 15 years old, but he was acting as if he was an adult. He and Dale stole multiple cars and broke into quite a few homes in order to assist them in traveling from Indiana all the way to Nebraska on their own. When the boys made it to Nevada, they held up a service station, and after that hit, they split up in a way. Floyd was driving a stolen truck, and Dale was following him in a stolen car. Police were on the lookout for two 15-year-old boys committing crimes across the country. Now in Carlin, Nevada, Constable Burning got wind of Dale and Floyd. Constable Burning had been elected as a constable back in 1916. By the time he was on the hunt for Floyd and Dale, it was 1942, and he had been a constable in that town with no major issues for 26 years. Constable Burning thought he would be able to apprehend the boys with no problems. He successfully pulled over the truck Floyd was driving and treated Floyd like an honorable citizen, instead of the criminal he was, and let his guard down. He said to Floyd, Sorry lad, but that car is stolen and I'm gonna have to haul you in. He tried to physically remove Floyd from the truck, but he was unaware that Floyd was equipped with a gun and did not follow through with the proper protocols because he never believed a young kid would harm him. He thought wrong and Floyd shot him. After being shot, Constable Burning fell forward into the truck and was shot once again and was now in critical condition. Floyd continued driving, but after some time, Dale encouraged and convinced him to stop the truck and ditch it. The truck was ditched in a desert. Floyd then got in the car with Dale and left Constable Burning behind in the truck. Officers found Constable Burning sometime later and he was transported to the hospital, but unfortunately he died from his wounds. Dale and Floyd were finally apprehended and taken off the streets. Floyd was charged with the murder of Constable Burning. Floyd initially pled not guilty, but he finally admitted to killing Constable Burning when he took to the stand during trial. Floyd was quoted saying, I shot him because I was frightened. I did not intend to kill him and I did not plan to kill him. At the time of the struggle, I was 15 years of age. I am sorry for what happened and I did not mean to do what I did. A year had passed and Floyd was 16 years old when trial began. He believed he was a completely different person than the one he was a year before. A jury did not take pity to a story or background and they found him guilty of murder and because of Nevada law, Floyd shooting and killing an officer, the judge was obligated to sentence Floyd to death. The only ones who would be able to commute the sentence would be the Board of Pardons or the Governor. There was an appeal and the Nevada Supreme Court granted Floyd a stay of execution and they ordered a new trial after finding that the jury failed to state specifically if Floyd was found guilty of first or second degree murder. 
The second trial began on November 16, 1943, and it ended the very next day on November 17, 1943. Floyd was found guilty again, and this time the jury made sure to specify that he was found guilty of first-degree murder. Floyd was sent to the Nevada State Prison and while on death row, Floyd made many friends and gained many supporters outside of prison. One of Floyd's old teachers, Lawrence Thompson, was quoted saying, He is dangerous and I would not plead that he ever be turned loose on society again, but he did still have potential to be a useful member of the state prison population. People wrote in to Governor E.P. Carvile. One woman wrote, Don't kill him. Let him and all like him kill the common enemies of us all. Grown adults were even writing Floyd because they were interested in him and his case. He responded to one couple and wrote, Life is a word with so much meaning. I have a lot to learn yet. As previously stated, Floyd hit it off with the inmates and 168 inmates wrote letters to the governor asking him to pardon Floyd. Floyd liked the attention and he also played baseball almost every day on the prison yard and his favorite positions were pitcher and third baseman. We submit that the defendant was in Indiana given a chance for rehabilitation, first probation, and then reformatory, but the defendant was not amendable to correction. He escaped. There were many others, just like this district attorney, who believed that Floyd could not be changed and he deserved his sentence. While in prison, Floyd's father came to visit him one time. He said that he would not be able to come back to visit again, though, because he was not able to afford gas and tires for another trip from Indiana to Nevada. A few days before Floyd's scheduled execution on September 29, 1944, Floyd wrote, No ball game today. I don't think we'll have any more games this year. When it was time for his execution, Floyd entered the gas chamber at the Nevada State Prison close to 6.20 p.m. and at exactly 6.28, a dose of lethal gas was administered and his body was removed from the chamber at 7 p.m. Floyd was 17 years old. The prison then transported his body back to Indiana so his family could do what they wanted with his body. Floyd's grandmother, Mrs. L.B. Loveless, wrote to the warden at the Nevada prison, Did Floyd think we would have him brought home to be buried? We wanted to write and tell him we would, but we hated to discourage him. Up until the last day, we didn't think any state could do a thing to such a young boy. Floyd's grandma wanted to be sure that Floyd was buried where he wanted to be buried. For an interesting fact, Floyd's father Curtis remarried and Floyd had a half-sibling by the name of Kenneth Merlin Loveless, but he just died last year at the age of 88 on February 4th, 2023. Thank you all for watching another episode of Death Row Executions. Let me know what you guys think of this story in the comments below.